Hello darlings, uh, let's make this a five minute video, um, but regarding the video I did, um, and I think I found D-Day, so I was just about to go to bed and I just was looking at an asteroid, uh, which this nice Indian lady did a video on, my eyes fell on it, uh, and she's not using uh, the same astrology as I am, but I'll show you her video. She's here. Maybe I've got rid of her. I've got rid of her. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, she's So, Asteroid Therus falls under the, char the category of a centaur. It is one of a small group of bodies known as Saturn Crosses. Chironola is unusual because his orbit is even longer than Saturn's, plus Okay, uh, which means he speeds up now and again. This means Tharos will travel concurrently with Saturn for a good number of years, giving them a special relationship. So he's going to be very handy in taking over the Capricorn High Cardinal Earth energy, which is basically what they're up to at the moment. In mythology, Therios was the bear-hunting senator. Well, here we've got picnic bears at Hanging Rock that dragged the poor creatures out of their dens, rudely carried them home, very much alive, and certainly with sore heads. Therus experienced a big shift in orbit in 1924 due to its proximity to Saturn. Zane Stein observed at the time Lenin died. Well, Lenin is just another word for linen. Cotton, again, the cotton spinners, the pirates... While Stalin had been waiting patiently in the wings, he called it lurking, then pouncing. So, uh, I like this lurking, is a little more subtle than utter stalking. With Therius, he is quietly observing his prey, trying to influence their thoughts of why are not physically doing anything to depose them. Therius types wait patiently for years until they finally get their prize. Well, this is V for victory. Uh, this is um, is this no that's not I've got um, yes this is uh, as I said the other day um, I think that my father's ex-wife who wrote this She's uh, one of the, she was a world champion dancer, she's a model, she's an incredibly uh, good looking woman and my father paid for her to have the highest, um, the highest studies, she's Russian and she's blocking all our, uh, she's got, she's, anyway, I'm not going to even going to go into that, but uh She's just done this, she's just covered. Chairman of Black Rock spoke at the Swiss Embassy in London. His speech, value and value. So there we have the Vulcan and the Vulcan, the vultures, the vultures of Altair Rock, where I've shown you what's going on. I'm not going to do that now. Accentuated the importance of sustainable investing being a catalyst for change. CC crucifixion. Okay, let's come back to this asteroid. Um, so you, 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 um, you, I'll show you, you have to go see, um, I was just about to do a post and I thought, no, I'll do a video. You have to come see a therapist in 2020 facing the fear. And so she's done a very good video, um, that you can go and watch, but let me show you what's happening so we've got this asteroid, which is, she just explains just how dangerous it is. And she has picked up on loads of alignments, which won't be the same as ours. Uh, but, um, so look, I said in my video yesterday that I'm pretty sure that North Node will be in Taurus for this D-Day event. Well, guess what? It's uh, on the first degree, it just hits Taurus. So coming out of this Altair Sirius, but this is where they can now pick up on the Earth energy, Moon again in exaltation on Aldebaran. 
uh, and this north node is making an inconjunct to Saturn and Pluto. Uh, everybody's retrograde at this time. Everyone's retrograde, and so Saturn is retrograding back at this time in Sagittarius with Pluto and Jupiter. They've already hit Capricorn, and now they're moving back. So they're picking up on this energy of North Node just hitting to you know to get her black magic spin. Uh, this is you know this is the, so and the heart Venus that rules. Uh, Taurus is at this moment in Cancer, making an opposition to all these guys going retrograde. So if that isn't sword in the stone, uh, in the heart, uh, and I'm not going to bore you now because I'm only just looking at this myself, but we have Uranus, as we know, in Aries, and Mars will have... Um, and Mars is in Aries at this moment as well. So, and it's right conjunct Eris. So, Eris is the one who rides the bull in on the European flag, the 13 European flag. So, also, this D Day date, 9 9. Uh, uh, oh, I've got the 9th of September here. This is interesting. This is interesting. I've got the wrong date because I often do this. It means that there's a sign because, oh, maybe I don't have the wrong date. Yes, I do have the wrong date because 9-9 nine, nine of um, November. So this is also an interesting date, but we'll go and put it on the, we'll go and put it, we'll look at them both because 9-9 nine, nine is, um, is also 9 and uh, nine is the eleventh month. Well, no, I haven't got it right. This is my nine nine. What am I talking about? This is the nine nine. It's me getting confused again, because um nine nine is nuvi nuvi, which is eleven eleven. So these are the one 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 chromosomes, just as we are meant to be merging our chromosomes from the mutable cross back to one. They are going to use that energy. For the pop-off date. Uh, so of course 99 is 911 or 1111. Oh my god. And this is I've actually got here the uh the 911, so we can have a quick look. We've got the 911 somewhere in all my people here. At 911. So 9-11, where was North-South node? It was still in Sirius. It was still on this opposition of Altair and Sirius. Um, and at that time, we had, as you know, Pluto opposite Saturn and since. So Saturn was then in Taurus. Um, this is all very important because this is what they need for their atomic, uh, for their spin. So obviously Saturn was right there and now we've got everybody in Sagittarius. So South Node again has been here all this year. So it's been picking up, preparing and they want to give to their Mercury uh, King working with Mars on top. Um, I've also seen loads of stuff today. So here we go, the three teddy bears picnic, which is simply the Acker Triangle. Um, and we've had the Mercury Phallus go off. So you can go and look at that. Northrop Grumman launches Cygnus, which is the name of this. It's the, it's the swan in French. So I put, please, I can't take the bullshit anymore, the crap, the show they put on just to tell you where we are in the comedy. And you can't even see it. Ground control to Major Soleimani on your tea is stuck in the stone. So Soleimani is the major that was killed in Iran. So they're making the moon into a man. Please open your eyes. I need more people to laugh with. Awesome launch today, says Joel 
Montalbano. So uh, JM is just uh, Jupiter Mercury. That's why we have Jazz and Marciac here. Skull and Bones, uh, Mick Jagger, Michael Jack, Michael uh, Jackson, uh, the Johnson. It's the MJM. It's the Skull and Bones. So uh, NASA, as you know, is North South America. Twin Peaks, Deputy Program Manager for the International Space Station, said just after launch during live commentary, and I put in, this is the Phallus of Osiris, 14 pieces, Lupercalia. So it was set off on the 15th, the last date of the Lupercalia Festival for Roman, Roman um, Republic liftoff. The Golden Globe, scene is a sign. You say scene in French, which is sign, which is the swan. Northrop Gunman launches a Cygnus spacecraft. N is VV. You've got the two Vs in the N, which makes the VV. Um, Aka, you know all this. Um, VV, but you know all that. A swan in French, you know all that. I've just told you. Uh, Alta, and you know all that because you watch all the videos uh, and my last video. But right at the end, they say from PAD. So we've got Paddy the Green Irishman, the Mid Atlantic Space at NASA Wallops, they've called it. Flight Facility, uh, which is 6 6. Anyway, so coming back, uh, so that is 9 11. So yeah, where was. Um, Venus again was in Cancer at the same time. Um, we had Mercury in Exaltation, where Mercury is again for this D Day in Exaltation, uh, making a trine with Saturn and Mercury. That is exactly what they want. Wow, I, uh, that moon, this is not always correct, that moon may very well have just been in Taurus as well. It was, may have just, just come in here. Okay, let's go back to the D-Day. D-Day, so, um, so the 111 chromosomes is also 22, which is the V for victory, okay? It's the M. And uh, my friend Lars, who's also an astrologer, he sent me some very good pictures today. Uh, this is a post I've done on um, this is a post I've done on Orion's belt, and um, I'm having difficulty, as I say, posting to my page. But this is on my page, so um, these are again showing us the Irishman. United Irish Catechism. Um, where did it first grow in America? Where does it, where does it, does it blow? Is that bloom in France? Where did the seeds fall in Ireland? Cork, 1792. So we've got the 72, the path of the sun uh, is 72 and 19 is 10. So, um, 72 is the years that King Louis, the Sun King, so this is everything that's happening, the Palace of Mercury, that's what that uh, rocket going off is, uh, and Alistair Crowley uh, died in, um, it, I think, in, in 72, and it's exactly, well, I can't remember when he died, but there's some connection. I've shown you already. I've shown it to you in my videos in the distance of the corona, coronavirus with Crowley. Maybe from his, maybe he didn't die in 72. Lucifer Rising came out in 72 again, showing us the Mars and the Isis and everything going on now. But um, uh, that post, you see, I've put Eris, I've put the Eris and the bull. It's all in there. I'll show you the pictures. I just wanted to make it a quick video. But there's Eris. This is exactly what we've got for this D-Day. Eris and Mars conjunct. Um, so this is Lars. And he wrote, Pisces the fish scales, handing over the uh, of wisdom of heaven to Capricorn with the feathers as a crown. Aquarius stands far left, pour, pouring abundance to the people. Well, 
this is what could happen. And there we've got noddy cap. It's all about the noddy cap. And um, so we're going to have the lion regulus for this D-Day. We've got the sun in Leo. And we've got the ten, tenth door on Leo. So the sun rules Leo. And uh, this is all great for their sun king, making Mercury into the sun king. Um, okay. 1839, well, 39 is the, uh, is the, so this is, a, you know, you get it. These are the two loops that we're going through, the two sides of the Vesca pieces. Uh, Crocodile Dundee is 8, of course, postcode DD8. Okay, this is 10 o'clock. This is 10 o'clock um, on the wheel. The 10th house is midnight. That's what Cinderella's all about. This is the blast off Orion's belt. Mars, uh, which is on, this his hand is on the sheet. The, this is Vega. Um, this is him, Odin, 13th sign, taking over the altar. He's taking over the altar. He is, has nothing to do with this here. There's Mercury. And this is uh, Mars as the Sun King. Mars in the middle. That's what the red spot is. Uh, and there are the balls and the phallus. So this is this is just how important this is. I know no glue. And there you've got D Day, Diana and Dodie under Altair dancing the waltz. And give me a break, innocent vic vic victims for victory. Feet and pull. So the contrast again, 1792, 7 2, which is this the, the film Lucifer Rising I've been showing you. They show us this English, the purity, and they show us the French. You know, I think it's the French that are going to start some, I, you know, may, I don't know where the clockwork orange is going to be set off, but um, 13 Stripes, East Indian Company, uh, the three ostrich feathers of Liechtenstein. And are there 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12 here. So this is before ER. JLo, again, somebody today, I saw today, uh, Jackie Lee wrote, Jackie Lee sung White Horses, JL. If this is the film cut, Jacob's Ladder, JL. This is the mouth and this is the beast rising out. So the beast, I've just shown you that picture. The three headed, the three kings, decapitation. Well, it's coming from Manchester United. There he is in the mouth, the splits of the rows, um, splitting the rows. So it's coming out of England. Jacob's Ladder, the Sun King, Mercury, Sun Louis, with his ostrich feathers and the black one on the top. And this is the umbrella. It's the uh, everything we've been through. Um, and the, this is what I was trying to get. These are the four V's, the four V's in the middle. Uh, well, you know, it's the V's, it's the V's, it's the two, 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 eight, 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 double. We've got to get through the passage. And there again is the VV. So this would be the V's. This would be uh, M, oops, MM. Because you've got M, and yeah, I have to show you the picture of Lars to show you again, Joker. You get it. This is what's happening now. Jupiter, uh, Saturn, and Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Sagittarius. M. This is the big singer M in France. This is Mars wanting to stay the first and the last. That means he wants to crown himself now as the last. So we don't get into Twin Peaks. 
39 and there was another 39 that you saw before and there's that WM they've got it as WWMM you see same thing there's the snake's tongue of the 13 and there's that J cut this is how they destruct us it's it's for the film it's the joker and the L uh, LL is VV and they show us the swords there's the fez and the M for the maypole and the Morris Scottish dancers <clears throat> this is blocking us okay um, 20 minutes so these are the pictures from Lars okay we know about that picture he's got other pictures here he's got other pictures yeah look at this one look at this one I don't know how to do that on Stellarium but look at this between Sirius Pollux Capella Former Holt, Deneb, Altair, Vega. So at the moment we're here. At the moment we're here. Then we're going to have the passage for, um, for the for the big crossing for the big date. So this is the true gateway, and uh, then we're going to have lots more adventures going on, and we'll come to those little by little as we're moving forward. But this is this is this is I'm just discovering this M here, right? I just discovered that on my own with you yesterday, but um, look, we've got a whole lot more going on. Um, so thanks, Lars. Lars is an astrologer too. Um, okay, so let's just finish with that picture and I'll leave you. So this is the D-Day and this is this um, where I've just found out how to get this uh, little, uh, it's it's where is this famous um, asteroid I've just found in Theseus? He is he's right on Regulus. He is right on Regulus. This big bad boy that I have just been uh, rela relational and professional attitudes based upon others. I am what I am. Well, here you have the I am what I am in this relationship because of my career status or the ornamentation of this relationship, positive balance between relationship and work, money and sexuality, negative, object-oriented, status-seeking, mercenary and work ethic, stunned by glamour and beauty. Well, it's going to be on uh, Regulus, which is going to accentuate all this because that's what Re Regulus is, glamour, beauty, um, and came up with the bear paw suggest and it's also a crown it's also a crown um, so bear hunting I've read I've copied and put but it's in the shape of a crown here's the crown and the three kings it's highly ambitious and appears to ride roughshod over anyone in pursuit of its ultimate goal. The heart is in the right place, but for some reason the unspeakable keeps happening. This can be people misreading one's situation and projecting their own paranoias onto it. E.g. a young person marries an older rich person for love, but it's seen as gold digging. Therius in the chart may well be the area in one's life that outsiders are skeptical about, if harshly aspected. It is also the area where we may go too far in trying to impress our bosses. Okay, well, you need to listen to the lady I showed you, uh, her video. I have to, I have to organise so you don't get an echo when I listen to videos. But um, she explains just what we're facing, just how dangerous. So she and didn't so know the right word, word. and because right her family because just called it a cookie whenever, whenever she the talked about it, her family Ramana just thought that she literally whatever. meant a cookie. They did, they did. When I fall on things, I know that, you know, um, it's something important because I just fell on her. I've actually come across her before. Virgo, October the 16th. Darius and Leo. Anyway, she gives you all her dates, which are not quite the same, but this is pretty massive. On Regulus. Um, 
and uh, the moon on Aldebaran, these guys just coming in, uh, Uranus on Aries and Mars conjunct Eris and Black Lilith, give me a break, squaring all these guys retrograde before they move forward. So I'm not saying this is the date, but this is a very big date. This 9-11 is a very big date. It may be, again, taking preparation energy with these guys retrograde um, <clears throat> to blast off something for the big conjunction date that is coming up on the 21st of the 12th. But we certainly have a D-Day going on here. And again, Mercury in exaltation. And Mercury will be going back afterwards from Libra. Okay, I'll leave it there. Bye, my darlings.